sustainability and front line. Definitely what passion need here. Can I go for Pango? It's a pretty active front line. Control here. Now they have Puck ulti. They also have the Thunder roll. Oh boy, this okay. counter. Have fun, Puck. This is this is not a good spot for the anymore. No HP and nine. It's the dead. The raise long range land. Thanks to Flacco Clockwork, Freak gets set up for a nice kill on the timber. Get the Lotus or uh, Lotus as a reward as well for this. Forces Niche back. And 23 Savage does die to that Pango and Marana down bottom. I get they get past the tomato onto the real hero itself. Mm. I think it's tough. He's trying to cut the creep wave every now and then, but Clockwork is just there ready for him. And we see another catch here on Whisper. Pull back in. Yep, the raises. I'm gonna have to finish him off, but maybe with this Marana leaping across, arrowing Whisper down. And Ari kept at bay with another raise from Freak as well. Maybe gonna be one of the situations where the puck is gonna feel a bit worse for wear, but right now they are on top of the Shadow Team. He's got a Lotus and a few one charges, and the cogs are perfect from Flacco. Saves the SF. Whisper and Ari can't catch up to him. Timber chaining forward with a treant arriving. It just grab off the mark. Raises to turn around. Freak is going to die. Finally, they get the kill. They have so, so desired. Far behind as I thought it would be. He could get level 6 here from one creep. And then he has coil for the gang. Creep dies. Gets it. There's the creep. I mean, Santa's really dead before the puck even really gets here. Flacco gets turned off by the timber saw. But yeah, you're right. With his coil, puck hits 6. Comes in, kills him off. 5 to 1. Absolutely amazing start here from Passion. And they're going bottom. The Pango is well on top of 23 Savage. Oh, he's blocking the arrow. Ooh. Ooh. Nice try, though, by Fernand's jumping around, trying to get the angle for the arrow. This is where you can kind of evacuate top. You know that a lot of emphasis has been put there by OG. So Shadowfiend goes and clears jungle, and now they actually shift into mid. Blockwork leading out. Nine is coiled. In comes the Marana and the Raiders of the Shadowfiend to finish off the Ricky. What is this rotation? This is so unexpected that all of them would just show up mid like that. And that's why the Ricky versus Puck can backfire. You get coiled once, you can't really escape when they go on you. It, it was that perfect kind of understanding of, like, like, like I say, he wasn't losing his lane. They won the lane, then they forced the overreaction from OG, right? They bring the trial lane, they TP the Prophet, they bring numbers and heroes on top. Then you're back, okay? There's a vacuum you've got to fill. It looks like he's going to change back across the cogs, but uh, is that a Lord of Thunder right here? He's coming a long way to come in and crash onto the dead corpse of Whisper, but he's Dancing also spotted on. 23 Savage. Oh, this Lord of Thunder's going to hit him once. Treant comes out, and that's going to be the end of that. They realize that more people are coming, and indeed, the Batrider and Ricky are both running over here. Yes. The Warden sent response them, though. <sighs> Ricky coming. Close on the Ricky. I'm going to coil him. Hookshot is there, too. There's the Ricky dead. Nine oh, gone nine. twice in a row. Now, Harry, the Grand Rider. Yeah, get him in the cogs. Flacco. I always get surprised by that. The extra catch range from the expanded armor tier nowadays. Oh, but the Whisper does go in. Snipes nice. out the Marana. That's a good kill. Chain. He goes for another one. And he supports. <laughs> there it is. Oh, Whisper is recovered now. The first 10 minutes hasn't gone too well. But they're, like, they're not super far behind. Against the team fight lineup like Passion has. Are you worried? Yeah, stuff is being run up, sorry. Right now, he's got it. Oh, Thunder has a backup, though, and he just turns the rest and raises, forces the overgrowth, down goes the tree, and Roshan's come out of his lair and said, what's going on over there? Hits the SF a couple of times, and it's finished off by the Ricky. At 9 and 23, looking for a little bit more, but 9's gone very deep. Big chain of whirling death from Timbersaw. This was going to try and shred through the pangle with a chakra, but it's not enough damage, and he's got turned on here by the Marana and the Puck! They call the orb, and now the 23 Savage, the TP's been cancelled. He turns to try and fight, but he's dead as well. Oh boy, you got the SF, but you got nothing else. And there's four heroes in this fight, Gareth, for a top tower push. Well, they see a hero, and they want to kill it, don't they? Yeah. Lock it, man. Spot out Whisper. So they go on Ari with a pug, and the clock is on Whisper as well, to maybe look for the bonus kill, but definitely to stop any turnaround potential. Pango rolling around, not gonna connect them too much, but they are laying into this tier 1 tower as well. Fine, this is a Treant lineup. He hasn't even had time to skill up living armor yet, and Seth has already lost every single tier 1 tower. Coil 
I okay. coil on the timber and he dies. There's no way out of it for him, really. Uh, the hook shot started. Canopy, the damage go over the top. Do we need the coil? Apparently not. In we go with that final bit of damage from the putt. Wayne ripping and jumping forward. And the so we've got to call the bat rider in the back. Orange held in place for a little bit and slain by a batch of Pangolier. To find kills. Maybe clockwork right now? No work. We're trying for it, but that's a tanky clockwork with a couple of braces and backup arriving. They get the kill on Flanco, but now, yeah, you're caught hold up. Ricky, down he goes. Timbuckle's chained in to try and fight back into this. Shadow Fiend with the Marana and Puck here, causing serious issues for OG in the bottom jungle. Ricky for a clock. At this stage, yes. You're 8,000 gold behind. You need anything to go your way. Uh, I guess Bat got to farm some jungle. Major Prophet was farming Ancients, but 23 has been found and slain by this Clockwork Marana support duo. See, you would rather have a trade than that happening right there. This is just... They're smoking over there, but OG... Sorry, you're just way too late for this. Maybe they can catch someone who's like straggling or left behind. Like this puck is in a weird position right now, trying to get a bit of a, an angle to backstab with the rest of the team. Be lining it down that top lane. Though, so not the easiest target. Oh, you're right. So the smoke screen there. They think this puck is a freebie, but it has a four stab to wait it with away. <laughs> Slides away. Pack good actually down. A roll good preemptively there. He's on the chase, orbiting after the uh, timber saw here. Flashbooks on his tail as well with his spirit vessel. Where's the on to Whisper? Puck in range for the coil now and he's gonna spend it. So Niche getting the damage in on the Whisper who now BKB even turns to fly back into the Pangolier. Marana. Marana. Died elsewhere to the Ricky. And OG. They're on retreat mode now. Trying to rally around nine, but look at the damage and the stun giving on to the Ricky at this time. Ari constantly trying to out this outer ring of jungle. Scapped out by Flaco and Nico Fernand and Niche to finish off the bat. Uh, the train protector and you see all these towers just falling. Feels awful, man. Healing armors to tier 3 power, but Shadow Fiend is here. Presence of the Dark Lord. Fucking Clockwork are killing the Timber Soul back on the other side of the map as well. Whistler's had to see TP defensively. He got TP, but Amarada coming in. Coil. There's the rest stun under Whisper as he tries to run away, but killed off by Niche. Shoved. Top lane, they're going to come back and deal with it because the next stop it. Well, he was up here pushing, but he doesn't have a BKB. He's been coiled, and I don't think he's done that. there's any escape whatsoever. No, there's, there's no way out of that one. Puck has a Parasma now, by the way, and shards to a four staff just because you're against Ricky. Yeah, simple, but elegant uh, solution to it. And now Ari, good again. Sneak into Arrow, well set up again by these two supports. Like, Flacco just finds himself in the right place at the right time every time. Yeah, he's He's been definitely a man of action in this game. He's been involved in so many of the kills. Coming now, an OG. Sam on the right hand side, he got scouted by someone. Shadow Beam though, he's on the left side. He's got another star up there, he's just trying to get there. He's gained to the record, he's out of the game, he's dying. Nine comes in and gets the kill. SF gone, but Whisper's the trade, and it looks like Nine might be going the same way. Uh, down immediate for both teams here, chasing the tree in the yeah, looks like Seth done for Tell me, a two for Sutter. three. Uh, still, it's pretty much a perfect fight for OG. The jump from Batrider, catching the SF, bursting him as much as possible before he can ult the. Tipshaw gets the BKB out before the SF fears him. Everything went your way, and still you lost three heroes. Ari, I don't know if you can survive this one. You have TP, but oh, it's not TP. Oh, it's It's now coming off cooldown. Even if there is coil. If a TPD forces it, smoke out from passion. Wow, that top lane is straight into nine. Silenced and forced to BKB. Don't get the, the move away, but dead to the physical right click damage. So much damage coming in from this uh, puck. Age is on the SF, so now he's happy and confident. He's the high ground. He's the timber on mid. He doesn't want to coil the BKB timber though. Items. Lock finds a hook shot onto Nature Prophet. He doesn't have 30 fight. Right. Does the BKB, which is gonna have to use Ari. He's gone with a lasso onto the Shadow Fiend to drag free into the base, but has died for it. Now, Mega 
going to move back onto 23 Savage, but he's managed to skirt away from danger, at least for now. On the Shepard Beam, first life down, protected by the Pangolier roll. But a distance there for free to get back to low ground. Just going to walk himself away. A lot of resources expended to train Dolte is down. And the barracks falling pretty quickly. Gonna get onto his S there. Gonna start in a bit of safety for free to BKB. Forced out the low ground and now with the Requiem out. The puck doing some good damage. Brian looks like it's the Timber Sword first. Now Seb in serious trouble. Nathan Trump trying to hit back. Those punch down the dies himself. The Shadow Fiend unloads tremendous damage. Here. Channeling the power of Misha. Eesh. If you replace all of the hit points in a Shadow Fiend with healing, is it still the same Shadow Fiend as it was to begin with? <laughs> Isn't that a thing about humans? The ship, of, the ship of Theseus. But yeah, it, it, the, the, yeah, there is an analogy about changing cells, but it was originally a Greek philosoph a philosophical question. Oh, okay. if, you, if you have a ship and you take all of the things, just plank by plank and fix it, is it the same ship as it was to begin with? Yes. It's the same ship. Built yeah, from different yeah. planks. Very good. So, yeah, chicken on the egg. <laughs> of course the egg came first. Of course. And OG is the same OG. Still gonna struggle in the first game, but you know what? They're just.